Somalia President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud is in Nairobi attending the 21st International Development Association, IDA, Africa Heads of State Summit. It is an honor. The event gives African leaders an opportunity to showcase their priorities to the World Bank. The place. Other financial institutions are keeping a close eye on the proceedings as well. What are you going to communicate? The host country's president, William Ruto, kicked off the event. We convene at a critical juncture facing a convergence of global crisis. This includes escalating geopolitical tensions that challenge international unity, a deepening development and debt crisis that threatens our economic stability, and urgent climate emergencies that demand immediate and collective action for our planet's survival. Ajay Banda, the World Bank president, was in attendance, as well as at least 10 other African heads of state. While his institution has provided much-needed short-term capital to the continent, their help comes with criticism. Aid has been for profiteering. This has been the problem. Somalia's leader praised the World Bank at the outset of his address. It is encouraging that the World Bank is listening, learning, innovating, and acting to provide a tailored context, a specific support for our most urgent priorities to spark growth in Africa. Somalia and IDA for Somalia, IDA is a major lifeline that we are relying on enabling our ambitious national transformation agenda in this hopeful and post-debt relief priorities. Somalia recently erased $4.5 billion in debt through an international monetary fund program called the Highly Indebted Poor Countries Initiative. By enacting financial reforms, tightening up revenue collection, and meeting benchmarks and timelines, Mogadishu was able to achieve debt forgiveness from most of its creditors. Hassan Sheikh's administration hopes this will lead to a flood of foreign direct investment. Despite our successful decade, long economic reforms to achieve debt relief throughout the highly indebted poor countries initiative, HIBIC, we remain among most fragile states in the African continent and the world. Without doubt, Somalia has come a very long way from where we were on a decade ago in terms of macroeconomic stability and socioeconomic development. In the end, the Somali leader's trip to Nairobi is really about getting more money from the World Bank. We also have exciting and empowering plans to keep the reform momentum going on to lock in the vital gains we have made and built on and built on them for a transformative change however these efforts require resources accordingly we require an uh, the upcoming IDA 21 replenishment to be of the scale and ambition that will help shift the situation from fragility to resilience and growth in Somalia. It is anticipated that Hassan Sheikh will have numerous meetings on the sidelines of the conference. He is drumming up support for opposing Ethiopian plans to open a naval facility on Somali territory while recognizing Somaliland's sovereignty. However, help from other African leaders and the World Bank can only help to try and convince Addis Ababa to change its position. ADN TV will continue to report on economic and diplomatic developments across Africa.